Hey everyone, I got asked for a more budget guide on um, Behold the Darkness Calamity Extreme. So let's do just that because people apparently don't have Arif <clears throat> uh, or can't do the um, holy stuff. So the boss beast, weak to dark, vulnerable TSPR breaks. Let's do a very cheap run here. We have our six star Galoof making this fight a whole joke. We have uh, an ungeared, entirely ungeared Louise EX plus one. You don't even need EX plus one Louise, honestly. Um, all you need is EX zero Louise because we're not going to use the Brave Shift here. And um, yeah, all you need is the 90% Spirit Break. What also would work technically is Savior of Souls Lightning. It's just going to take you uh, at least a second turn until you can do the 90% Spirit Break, but that's fine. Um, use any dark mage you have. It can be Sol, it can be Ibarra, it can be Emperor Vlad. Those are the ones that come off of the top of my head right now. As long as they have Quad Chain with dark, or even any magic, but I would tell you, or I would advise you to use dark because the boss is weak to dark. Uh, Sol has no gear and we're using Yegni. Yegni is um, currently entirely free. All you need is X plus one though. This is the gear we're using, his own STMR, the Dark Vision Rod. Otherwise entirely free or um, TMR level or below stuff. And he's using his own vision card, so we don't overdo things. Yegni has, let's check it, 250 Beast Killer. Uh, I could go for more if I put him on um, Ifrit. I'm just lazy. And if you, because Yegni uses physical killers, so if you have it, for example, oh, let's see, you could use or is it valued memories that would bring you to 100% instead but that's an STMR I'm not gonna assume you have it so yeah there is still a lot of room to grow for all these units very cheap stuff um, Galoof all he needs is passive provoke evasion I didn't go for a double Moogle charm build. I also didn't go for the Diadem build, the Dance with Diadem from Clash of Worlds. So we're using this gear. If you don't have K Producer's Jacket, um, there are plenty of other options for Provoke. Um, you would need Durandal, for example, the Well Forged Blade. That's 30%. Uh, that's even more than you need. Or you could use the Mogul Plushy as a shield, which I'm not currently using, but that's also an option. But this is from Iris, and I, I think Iris is rather rare, so I'm not using it. But there's plenty of options to go for full pro passive provoke. And we also have one more spare TMR slot, or ability slot, sorry. Um, so there are plenty of ways to make this work. So I... Hope you guys can get him to passive provoke. All right, let's go and clear this fight out in either three or four turns, depending on the little variants that mages have. Again, Saul and Luis are not geared at all. So if you're struggling with your DPS because Yigni has, or is only EX plus one, I would advise you to gear Saul and have him chip in some damage. So Galoof on turn one is going to cover. Uh, Louise is going to incapacitate target, which is the aforementioned 90% spirit break. It also reduces physical accuracy, so you don't need 100% evasion. 50% is enough. But we'll treat it as if you weren't using Louise. You can do this. If you're doing this with lightning, you need 100% evasion. So Louise makes this a little bit easier. But yeah, we're, we're here for the 90% spirit break. We'll use Modified Gear Diverse Arsenal, which is a 50% all killer buff. And then there is nothing else really to do, so we'll do Power Boost, which is 250% stats, among other things. Break Immunity, for example. And last one doesn't matter, we'll just do Firepower, even though the boss isn't particularly weak against fire. As you can see, 
Minus 100% dark resistance innately. That's really good. We want that stuff. Okay. Um, what he's gonna do, um, Saul is gonna do Blessing of Darkness to unlock his... Uh, well, actually, let's just do Quad. So Blessing of Darkness and Triple Darkness Beam. Yigni is going to Four Hands. Um, floating Shadow that imbues everyone with dark and amps and dark for the party by 30%. Uh, we'll do Vitality Fountain, which unlocks his Pentacast and enables a 30% magic field effect. We'll do a Study of Darkness for his own imbue and 50% dark amp. It also hurts him a little bit, but that's fine. And then we'll use Soul Projection, which is, which is a 130% Dark Imperil and deals huge, huge damage. So let's go. Um, the chain will be all over the place. Don't sweat it. That's fine for turn one. We'll do seri serious damage. I was about to say serial damage next turn. We already did 13%, which is <laughs> crazy. Yigni, I'm telling you guys. Okay, so let's... Um, Quadcast, Darkness Beam twice, Malicious Manslayer. It just has a higher modifier than his chain and Terminating Abyss, which is a decent hit. Uh, Yigni is going to five principal. We're gonna Soul Projection four times and cap this off with a Seal of Doom, which is his super hard hitting ability. And Louise is just going to Quad Ionic Fire Blaster, which is why I said you don't need um, EX1. EX0 is fine. All right, let's chain this up. This will perfect chain and we will top this off the chain with his Seal of Doom at the very end. And as you can see, the boss is taking quite some damage already. Perfect. All right, 44% on turn two. I think we're gonna make it in all missions. Um, let's throw an Alexia onto Saul this turn so we don't run into mana issues. We are fine with using items. The boss does a few attacks, but Galoof covers and evades them all. And yeah, Saul is going to quad Darkness Beam now. Yigni is going to five hands, Soul Projection and uh, Pneuma Manipulation. We don't want to break the chain by pentacasting Yigni, so let's just keep on chaining and see if we can defeat the boss on this very turn. That'd be fun. And... Oh, 1% left. Oh well. Oh well, that can be variance, but it's a four turn clear, so... Still all missions. And let's repeat. The chain will be all over the place now, but that's fine, whatever. The boss is dead. So Behemoth has about 2.1 billion HP. Let's check out how much damage Yigni dealt. Um, spoiler, he did all the work. Yeah, I think Yigni did the trick. <laughs> Saul didn't contribute at all, basically. All right. That is it, pretty much. Another budget run in the back. Thank you all for watching. And we'll be seeing each other later today. Bye-bye.